The mad lads at Smallland have finally done it. I give you the ability to have more than one team. Hello at Bags, it's Jade. Yep, Smallland's update went live. They promoted the patch notes earlier on this week, so it wasn't really a surprise what was in it. Improvements to combat. Blocking now actually has a result, which I'm going to show you guys. And yes, the big one that you can now have up to 50 different creatures tamed and pretty much swap in and out which one you want. So there's a proper parry system now in small lands. It's okay, it works okay, it stuns the creature, and then obviously that'll give you another opportunity to hit it unimpeded. Doesn't really do any more damage, though. I've tested it a bit now. As far as I could tell, anyway, you're not going to do any extra damage like a finishing move or anything. But it's a good start. Maybe because I'd never use it as it was pretty useless, just blocking a lot of the time. Then it's going to take a while to get used to that actual window, but you can see the lizard got a good animation when it's stunned. Bunch more options now when you've actually got a creature ready to tame, you can rename it straight away. So you do that by clicking on the inspect button. And of course all your pets should be called Ratbag. And just like normal, using a whistle or going back to the main menu and back in will make sure the pet teleports straight to your tree base. And crucially, you need to make sure that you tell your creature to leave party. It won't necessarily just run off and become wild anymore. It doesn't look like that's really an option. I can't see it anywhere. So it's just a case of saying leave party and then you'll be able to go ahead and get another tame. You do in fact have to make sure that the bug you previously tamed has left the party. Otherwise you still won't be able to necessarily do much with your tame. You won't be able to ride it. It will still stay pretty much just there. But you can go ahead and tame other creatures. They'll just simply be there and waiting for you to come back. In this instance, I used the whistle for it to come. And then I could go ahead and make it not part of my party. And then swap over to the grasshopper and make that join the party. It's so great stuff. I'm sure they're going to be adding more. They did say they're going to be adding more improvements. Also, all tame creatures now have 200% health. That's such a crazy number. Like, has it really taken that long to really see the balance that the tames just didn't have enough life. It does seem a bit odd. I know they did increase it in one of the updates just after launch, but yeah, it's still really a big jump, like 200%, that's massive. So hopefully now your tames will be worth going to actually get and won't die at the drop of a hat. Also, am I tripping? But does the map look a bit different? I swear across the water, we're starting to see more of the things that we'll probably be exploring once the map expands. I put over 100 days literally into obviously small down when it launched. I've done that video. Go and check it out on my 100 days channel. Link will be in the comment section down below. But I don't remember this tree across the water looking exactly how it looks. And it does look like there's more of sort of scenery, lampposts and stuff just across the way. I don't know, maybe I didn't spend enough time actually examining the map, but I swear I went around every part, I did every kind of guide going. So this tree particularly looks a bit gnarly and just don't remember it before. They've also improved a lot of animations for the water bug, as you might have seen, and cockroaches that have got more realistic attacks now. And you'll now get a yellow line indicating exactly where you can build on your trees. This is amazing. I didn't realise that you could build so far, so wide on small land, and that will transfer with you if you swap over to another tree. Anything obviously outside, when you start seeing it blue, that means anything out of there won't transfer. So if you're wondering why your base has been half cut off, well, there you go. It also extends downwards. Again, something I didn't realize. I thought it was just literally that top square, and maybe a few bits of the branches, but supposedly, yeah, you could build all along these branches, although it is still tough to actually place some items, but you could do it. There is a way, or if you have your base almost dropping down from the top branches, yeah, it is actually possible. You can build and take everything here with you to another tree. Obviously, a lot of these branches are a bit more, I guess, not as flat, so it's going to be a bit harder to place certain things. But you can just about see with my campfire that I'm about to place, there is a couple spots where I could do it. So, yeah, I'm sure a bit of practice, you guys will get it right. But honestly, great stuff. I just didn't realise you could build that big. And I've also adjusted it for multiplayer now that every key item that you get from a boss, so like the Rhino Beetle Horn, that will now drop for as many players are with you. So if your friends join you, you go and do boss fights together, you will get the same drops. Now the patch notes do state key items, so it might not be other stuff, but I can't remember if any of the other bosses do drop anything. Like I'm sure you don't get any spider silk by killing the spider matriarch, right? All in all, good little update. They've got more to come and hopefully small lands can really, really keep on proving.
I did a little review for Small Land. Obviously, I did my 100 days. I did a first impressions, but I never gave it a full complete review. And I did mark a bunch of stuff that I want to see improved. But then I got thinking about what stuff it does really well or the lessons that other games, especially things like Grounded, could learn. So go and check that video out as well to see how Small Land could inspire other games. Also, it looks like Small Land's on 20% sale already. So it's a little bit cheaper than 20 quid it was. So yeah, I would still recommend go and try it out for sure. I think it's got enough content that you'll have a good amount and they seem really keen on updates to make it better. Until next time, Ratbags, laters.